This is a review for Movie Club Strikes Back, where each week someone new picks a movie. We all watch it, review it, and hashtag it with Movie Club Strikes Back, or MCSB. So, how do you review your favorite movie without just constantly repeating, Oh my god, this is so awesome! Let's find out as I review. A Bronx Tale. The focus of this movie is a kid in the Bronx named Claudulo. He is torn between allegiance to his father and a local mobster that he witnesses killing someone. After not ratting the mobster out, the mobster starts to give him benefits and it's a easy money verse uh, earned money conversation right from the beginning. Hey, you stay right over here. See, why don't you go outside? I want to talk to your father. I'll speak to my own son. Coach, I'll wait outside. First of all, I respect you, Lorenzo. You're a stand-up guy. We're from the same neighborhood. But don't ever talk to me like that again. I tell your son to go to school, to go to college. You don't understand. It's not what you say. It's what he sees. It's the clothes. It's the cars. It's the money. It's everything. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. <laughs> he said that to you? <laughs> There's a lot of different issues in this movie about race, relationships, relationships with significant others, and relationships with friends and uh, parents, in, in this case a mob boss and people outside of your world in trying to make the right decision to follow through life. And it ends up being a really interesting movie. There's so many different things going on with race and love and relationships and uh, different gaps with uh, money, whether earned money is better than easy money. Uh, it's a lot of different issues tackled in this one. It's kind of amazing that a first-time director was able to make it all one storyline without going off on tangents but it is De Niro he's been in a lot of movies he knows movies and he I think he handled it really well uh, I can't not gush about this movie it's my favorite movie what else can I say that other than oh my god it's so awesome you have to watch it if you have British Netflix, it's apparently on British Netflix. And if you're American, you can illegally get it somehow. Thank you for watching. This has been a very impartial review by Raymond Smith. And as always, I shall try to do better next time. Here is a clip from the movie. She was tall, she was beautiful, and she was classy. But she was black. And that was a no-no in my neighborhood. I just want to add that they didn't lose the race because Eddie Mush bet on the same horse as them. They lost the race because Johnny Velasquez played one of the jockeys. I've never won a race with that bastard in it in my life. He's the real jinx.